Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be ranking every single gun in Fortnite Chapter 3 from worst to best. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, drop a like on the video, and turn the post notification bell on, so that you never miss a video stream here on, on my channel, and we'll get into it. So, there's about 10 different weapons, we won't be looking at the mythics, I'll actually, at the end of the video, explain which mythic I do prefer, but we're looking at the normal weapons. Um, we won't be like looking at every single rarity, we'll just be more of like, just looking at the highest rarity of each, and I'll rank them all from worst to best, so, uh, coming at, um, number 10, my least favourite weapon of chapter 3, might come as a shock to you, but it is the Hunter Bolt Action Sniper. Now, I know you're gonna, I know some of you guys are gonna say, oh, th th this weapon isn't completely terrible. Yes, it's not that scary because it can't one shot you, and that's what I don't like about it. Honestly, if we just had like a, I don't know, the suppressed sniper, regular bolt action sniper, holding rifle, then instead of it, then none of it would be much better. But I don't like this weapon too much. First off, mainly because it, it can't one shot you at, you know, I'm, I'm more used to snipers, I guess, that, you know, you shoot once and then you reload and that's it. But this one, like, just doesn't feel that great. I've only, I've only gotten like very few kills with this weapon, I feel like. Honestly, I honestly, if the if the scope they are was in the game or the thermal scope they are, I'll, I'll take over the uh, which I think the thermal is meant to come back soon anyway. But yeah, I don't like this weapon too much. I don't think it's good. I think it's bad. Um, in my opinion, just yeah. I, even though the gold does like one eye per headshot, that's still not two hundred. I just feel like it should be able to one shot. Yeah, it should have just been one of those snipers that you just reload once and then that's it. But yeah, I don't really like this weapon too much, and that's why it's my least... And again, you understand why it's my least favourite weapon. Coming at number 9, it is the Sidearm Pistol. It, it's not that bad, this is actually the first one that's not that bad, but again, it's just a pistol, so of course it's not going to be that viable. I know 31 damage, 62 headshot, it can be solid, and I might take it over like a grey, green or blue of, 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 of the... Maybe of like, I don't know, a shock, like maybe a striker or, or Norda, which I'll get into soon. But honestly, yeah, it's just a pistol. So of course, not really available. I, I do like the fact that it does have a it does have a high DPS of two, like something like two hundred or something. But again, because it's a pistol, just a pistol, it's obviously not going to be ranked that high, obviously, in it. But it's not bad, just not not great. And actually, speaking of the the um, all the shock, and that's actually going to be a number eight spot, um, which. The you know, shotgun, I don't know why, it just doesn't feel as good as what, I, I guess, a tactical shotgun. I know, yes, it does 92 damage, I think versus life has an 88 in the attack, but I just feel like the tack shotgun has just, like, better range, and it just feels like it hits better, I don't know why. It just just the tack shotgun and the other shotgun feel very different from each other. I know the stats, like, on the other shotgun are similar to the tack, but, like, you know... I just feel like the accuracy isn't good. I just feel like there's just something about the auto shotgun that doesn't make it feel as good as the attack. Plus, the reload time is well. The reload time is actually not too bad on the weapon. The thing I don't like about when you have to reload is it does two at a time, which it, it can feel a bit weird. If it was just maybe it should have just like done one as like what the tactical shotgun did. But anyway, this weapon's all right. But I do think I prefer a striker pump, which is coming at number seven. The striker pump, the main reason I'm going to rank this weapon over the auto shotgun is just mainly because it, it just, I feel more used to, the, I'm more used to using this kind of, like, this, uh, the, this weapon than the auto. First off, it does, it's it's meant to be like a slightly more balanced pump, you know, I guess it's like meant to be a you know, slightly weaker pump shotgun. I mean, it does do decent damage in legendary and purple pump gold royalty, like there's a hundred, over hundred for body shot. You can, you can land like some good 150, 160, maybe 170 headshots. But, and, but yeah, it's a tiny slow in the pump, and it does less damage, and it's not, yeah, no one is because it's the pump. But, but yeah, if, 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 in terms of this season's loot pool, it's, uh, it's not that bad. If we were talking in, like, last season loot pool, or regular, or, like, more regular shotguns were in the loot pool, then it would have been pretty bad. Same for the auto, but, both of them aren't too bad, but I just do prefer the striker pump. Both aren't that bad, especially after their buffs, but I feel like... 
they just aren't as good as some of the other shotguns we've had. Uh, coming in at number six, uh, this might be a little surprise, but it's actually the machine pistol. Don't get me wrong, I like the machine pistol. This is the first weapon that's actually good, but I just feel like it's not as good as the Stinger SMG. And the main reason being is just the accuracy, man, and, and the accuracy doesn't feel as good. Second, or, the accuracy is not as good. There's a little bit of more recoil and it's more bloom and stuff. The Stinger actually is more accurate, and the, and I mean, well, yes, it's a high fire rate, but I'm. But, at the same time, I just feel like the Stinger is just more better. Like, the Stinger, you know, even has more bullets. I mean, the Stinger does a little more damage, but I'm not going to do it based on damage. It's just the fact that it, the Stinger is just more accurate and and, and, and there's no one as much bloom and, and and less recoil. I think on it makes me want to say that I think that the Machine Pistol is just not quite as good. Don't get me wrong. It, I like this weapon. This is the first one that's actually quite good, but I just think that... It's just not as good as a um, the Stinger, in my opinion. Some of you guys might agree, some of you might disagree, but in my opinion, I just I just feel like the machine pistol isn't is quite as good as the Stinger SMG. It's probably the Stinger because it's just better, more accuracy, and plus it it is like an SMG as well. But it's nice we have the machine pistol in the game, and I will use it. I may I'll use a machine pistol probably over a. I guess maybe grey and green stinger, but if it's a blue to gold stinger, I'm going to take over the machine pistol. And... Coming in at number 5, only, this is only a little better for me, but it's the grenade launcher. The grenade launcher is honestly pretty good. I haven't... I, I haven't... I have not been able to use it too much. It just feels hard to get. I mean, cause you only get, I think, out of like rare chests or supply jobs or sharks or whatever. But this new grenade launcher, good. Even though it does way less damage than the old one, it's it's still amazing. Like the fact that it just it can it almost it's almost like the proxy grenade launcher, I guess. Like when it bounces, after the first bounce, it actually does it actually does damage, and that actually actually then starts doing damage immediately after the first bounce, which makes it good. So that it's easy good. It's good at destroying structures. You can probably get hit hit. You can probably get kills of it. It's a good weapon, um, but I still think the RPG would, would is better, in my opinion. I mean, sadly, that's not in the loophole, but I still prefer... Even though this new grenade launcher is a lot better, and I do like it, I just feel like the RPG is still better. But nice, though, that they brought back the grenade launcher, and I totally, love, and I totally quite like it. Anyway, coming at number four, this is probably the weapon I would have probably put most likely at number two, if not number one. The MK7. Now, the, please don't please don't get mad at me for ranking the MK lower than these next three weapons. I'm going to say, the, okay, but the MK it is still really good. I love this weapon still lots, especially the mythic. We're not looking at the mythic. We're looking at the legendary, the mythic MK. This the mythic stinger. I will rank for both after I've done after I've done going through the weapons. But the MK it is good. But the reason why I just don't like it. The reason why I don't, I'm sorry, I don't like it as much now, and the reason why I just, I, I'm ranking it at number four, is because I feel like the nerfs on it, are just, it's because of the, all the nerfs they've done it, like, you know, it's not as good at putting pressure on builds, like, breaking builds, like, the Stinger SMG, Grenade Launcher, there's, there's quite a few better alternatives than using an MK now for breaking builds, at the start of the season, the MK was really good at breaking builds, but there's so much better alternatives, like using the Stinger SMG, the Grenade Launcher, and the Machine Pistol, Honestly, even the Ranger as well. But, yeah. Plus, the, the damage is okay. And, and plus, the thing that's actually good about this weapon, though, is at least it does, you know. At least it barely has, at least it doesn't have a recoil like the combat assault rifle did. And it actually, again, but the nurse just make it not so good. And plus, it's not super accurate when you're hip firing. Unlike it used to be, though, when it used to be, but not anymore. So overall, on the MK7, I I do think it's it's a really good weapon, but I just feel like after the nerfs, it's just not as good. The fact that you can't, the fact that it doesn't do as much structure damage, does it does a little less damage, and the fact that it's less accurate and all that stuff just makes me want to say that it isn't. It's not in the top three. Number three. It's gonna, it's gonna completely shock you. Don't get mad at me for ranking this side in the MK. The Ranger Assault Rifle. 
Now, I bet most... Now, I can't be sure. Most of you guys are going to say, oh, the MK7 is way better than the Ranger. And if you do, fair enough. I will take, like, a... Or maybe you will take an MK over, like, a Greater Blue Ranger. Any day, if it's a Purple Gold. But the Ranger, in my opinion, is just really good. I'll tell you why. First of all, um... It's very accurate, very accurate. I've, I think I remember. I think I dropped a. I think I remember I was playing duos with my friend. I think the other week, and I dropped like, and I managed to get a win with him when, when using the rangers. Um, it's really good just for tagging people at long ranges, and it's super accurate. Well, yes, it has it only has a fire rate of four, and it's doing some damage to the scar, but the accuracy really does make up for it. And if you, honestly, this is better than the AK. This is one of my favorite weapons. I hope it stays next season. I can see most of you are going to say that the MK is better, and I will say a Mythic MK I will take over, but I'm not looking at uh, Mythics. Um, but honestly, I will say that the um, Ranger, in my opinion, is better than the MK. The fact though, the fact though, and also the M the, the Ranger is actually technically better when it comes to breaking builds than the MK. I mean, because with the MK, it, it, like, well, like before... When it was so much easier to break builds, you take it takes a lot of bullets with the MK to break, like maybe like a metal wall with the Ranger, it's like a lot less. So I think it's like the Ranger's like less, I feel like. And it's just faster really. And also the the Ranger in my opinion is also better at picking up people at longer ranges. Mid range is probably gonna say, Oh the MK is better, probably at mid range, but in longer range though, the M the um the Ranger is just honestly really good. I mean, it was like 37 damage, I think with like a DPS 148, which is average for an assault rifle. It's a good weapon, um, but I think I can see most of you going to say that the MK is better. Or, but yeah, I will respect your opinion, boy. Alright, coming in number two, it's the heavy shotgun. Close to number one. Oh my god, this, the heavy is just so good. Even if it's a grey variant, it's so good. The damage output is really good on this weapon. And it does fast, and it does shoot kind of fast actually as well. And plus, it just, it's just, it's just the weapon feels so much better than the old version. Yes, the headshot is a little bit le less, but like you're still doing decent headshot damage. The body shot's decent, and plus, <coughs> the fire rate is also quite fast as well, quite a lot faster as well. Which meaning that you can definitely. It's better. It's just, in my opinion, way better than the striker. It's doing some some else's striker, but the way faster fire rate, and it's just way better than the other shotgun. This shotgun is way better than any other shotgun in, we have currently in the loot pool. Is it good because of the spaz? I don't think so. But in this loot pool, or if you throw like a combat or a tactical shotgun, this thing's honestly better. I, I love this heavy shotgun. Absolutely love it. I will use it any day. I will use a gray. Maybe even, I'm I'm definitely gonna use a grey heavy most likely even over a gold striker. Let's just say that. All right. Anyway, coming in at number one, um, coming as no surprise, it's the Stinger SMG. Even after the nerf, the Stinger is still qu quite strong. I mean, yeah, we'll look at the Mythic soon. Um, but the, you know, just last little clip, I show you, 20 damage a shot, which is about the same as the P90. But the thing that makes it better than the P90, though, is you've got that higher fire rate. And plus, you've even got that, um, it's also really accurate. It's a lot more accurate as well. Like, if you're finding a mid-range, you could probably still land a, a few shots with this. Maybe not a hit, but, like, because of the recoil, which I'll get onto soon. But with, like, the mid, with, like, the, le great, with, like, the, with the legendary, yeah, I'm just talking legendary because we're looking at the highest rarity of each weapon. With this thing, yeah, you can, it's because of it does decent damage, higher fire rate, which I do like. I hope they don't nerf into the ground even further. Cause I think it's fine with the whole fire rate. It just makes sense. I just love the fact that how accurate it is as well. Like, like you could be fighting in mid range with someone, like maybe from fifty meters, and you can probably still I don't know land a few like land some solid tags with it. Maybe not as good as like an MK, but because of the high fire rate. Maybe and, and how decent accurate is, you could probably get some decent shots off at longer range. And then not longer, so mid range. Like if you're like 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 you can use it as like an AR 
you can use an SMG, and that's just what's really good. See, there's like two different purposes of it using it. Honestly, and and yes, despite it being nerfed, this is still my favourite weapon. I do think the heavy shotgun is very close though, but either way, the stinker, in my opinion, is still the best weapon of Chapter Three. And yeah, now I'm gonna quickly discuss the mythics. In my opinion, if we're gonna talk between a mythic MK and a mythic Stinger, I'm going to choose the mythic MK. Because the mythic MK does 25 damage, which is which is like takes four and eight shots to kill, rather than five and nine shots to kill. Which I mean by that is obviously four for the hundred, help eight for two hundred. So it does actually um it taking less shots to kill as well. Plus, it has a 10 fire rate as well, so it will be decent at breaking builds. Still, maybe not as good as the Stinger, but the reason, another reason why I'm taking, well, I think the MK is better than the Mythic MK is better than the Mythic Stinger is the fact that the Mythic Stinger does have a lot of recoil on it as well. Yes, the Mythic Stinger is still really good, and I do like it a lot. The fact with the extra damage bonus, but it's just because of the recoil and stuff mainly, and the fact that the Mythic MK is more comparable with that extra fire rate. Makes me want to say that the Mythic MK is better. Plus, it's even more accurate as well. I believe. So, yeah, that's just what I quickly said on the Mythics. Um, but anyway, thank you all for watching. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.